Hey everybody, this is Sarah with the Olive Branch and I am here to show you a tutorial on the very last step of your sign and that is removing your vinyl stencil. Um, so our board is completely painted. Um, we have finished painting and it is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the stencil, do any touch up that I need to do um, and just explain a few last steps for you. So basically when my stencil is dry, I'm just going to peel off my blue painter's tape that I have around my stencil. And then I'm going to begin to pull up the blue stencil. Now, something to keep in mind is that this blue stencil is not going to peel up in one piece. Um, it's going to rip and tear, um, and that is completely okay. So what I do is I just start in a corner and I just slowly start to peel diagonally off of my board. You notice that my stencil is ripping a little bit, and that's okay. If you do notice that you had any um, paint bleeds in a couple areas, do not worry. I will show you how to touch those up. Also, sometimes this sticky stencil material can pull up a little sliver here and there from your background, and that is okay too. I will teach you um, some tricks for a touch up on that. And that is um, one reason why we have you hang on to your stain if you have any left. Um, in the instructions, we just have a little bit about hanging on to any extra stain you have left, and that's what we use for touch ups. Um, so I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife to get some of these pieces up here. Just be very careful, these knives are sharp. Sometimes when we are using the knife um, to peel up our stencil, we do end up nicking our board, and, and that's okay too. Um, I can show you some tips on how to touch that up as well. For these little pieces that are in between your letters and things like that, um, you're going to use an X-Acto knife or a knife or tweezers, whatever you prefer, to pull these out. I just like to um, get under my stencil and lift it just a little bit and then peel it. It's a good helpful tip on um, not gouging your wood, but sometimes it does happen. So I am just going to peel up all my little pieces here. And this one, there are quite a few in the leafy part. I'm just going to peel up a few of these right now just to show you what I'm doing. And I will show you how to touch up some of these problem areas. Okay. So I just had a little bit of bleeding here with my paint um, around some of my leafy part. So what I like to do is I like to actually take my X-Acto knife and just scrape it along the edge. I try to scrape off some of this paint. And it's okay if you end up scraping off your background stain. I'll just show you a easy way to get that touched up. So what I do is I just keep a small brush handy and I grab a Q-tip and I dip my brush in my excess stain that I have left from 
the very first step. And I just put a little bit of stain on my board and then I take my Q-tip and I just wipe that into my board. And that's going to touch up some of those areas where you had some paint bleeding and you scraped it away. And then also if you have any areas where um, your stencil peeled up your background, um, there's just a little area right here. I just touch that up with my stain and then I take my Q-tip and I just wipe that stain into it. There's another little area I want to touch up. And here I had a little bit of paint bleeding. So I'm just going to scrape that off. And again, just touch that area up with my brush. One thing to keep in mind is I practice the two foot rule. If someone's standing two feet away from your sign, um, they are most likely not going to notice any little imperfections that you have on your board. And I'm going to finish removing the rest of my stencil later on. But once you have um, all of your stencil out, then you have your touch-ups done, then you are finished with your sign. Everybody, uh, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to post a picture of your finished sign on social media and get entered to win um, some cool stuff. Thank you.